In this session, I'm going to show you how you can uh, call your pipeline from outside of Azure DevOps using API. This is quite interesting and useful so for so many projects. In your case, you might need to call your pipeline from outside of the Azure DevOps. And uh, because of that, you need to know how it's uh, being done. So in order to do that, let's uh, create a basic pipeline first, and then we can actually uh, connect to the pipeline from the API. Like always, you can actually come to the Azure pipeline and from there, you can click on new pipeline and in order to do that you need to have a repository if you don't have repository you need to create a new one so let's start from there i go to the repository i create a new repository and i uh, name it uh, pipeline api because it's related to what we are going to do now we have a empty repository with a readme file now i come back to pipelines click on new pipeline here i get some options to create a pipeline if you are already familiar with the uh, yaml pipeline you know that we have four options related to yaml pipeline i go for the first one azure repository and here i choose a uh, pipeline and i find my repository i click the repository and I, and I click on the starter pipeline to have something to start so i can use this pipeline to show you uh, because i want to trigger the pipeline from outside i remove the trigger here i don't need that and now i just save the pipeline and here it asks me if i want to directly commit to the main branch or new branch i think main branch is fine because this is for the tutorial okay now i have a api pipeline and uh yeah i can just run it one time to make sure if it's running uh, properly i just run the pipeline and it shouldn't take that much so i go inside the pipeline just waiting to get an agent and now it's done so the pipeline is executing and it's finished so that's nice we have a pipeline which is running which is working now we want to run this pipeline from outside in order to do that microsoft provided different apis for azure devops but one of them which is quite uh, interesting is the the, uh, the build uh, api which I think it's the, uh, the suitable uh, API we can use here. So let's uh, have a look into this API. As you can see in this API, you have different uh, operations you can use. What we need here to run a pipeline or build pipeline is a queue. So if I click on the queue, I can uh, see the REST API here. It's a post uh, with the post method. So you need to call this API and pass some parameters in order to run the pipeline so let's do that in order to use this api to call this api i would like to use postman if you're familiar with postman you can download postman uh, for free and start working with apis it's quite interesting that you can uh, call the apis consume the apis and test the apis with postman before going to the postman i i'd like to uh, I create a token because you need to authenticate with this API and for the authentication you need to create a token from Azure DevOps inside Azure DevOps as you might already familiar you can create a, a personal token but if you just watch this video without any prior knowledge about this I can tell you how you can come to that uh, part uh, the personal token it's accessible from this icon near your account icon which is called personal access tokens if you click on the personal access token you come to this page and it's quite easy you just create a new token I call it uh, 
pipeline API. Here is the name of the organization you are going to use uh, the token. And here you define the scope for the token. In my case, because the scope of the token is about the, uh, the pipelines, I'm just uh, adding the read and read and execute for the pipelines. I don't need to have a full access. I just give the, the access I need. And in this way, I can make it more proper. So I click on create. It gives me the token. So I can uh, keep it somewhere. So yeah, usually you have to uh, keep it somewhere secure. In this case, it's just a tutorial. The time you watch this video, this token is already gone. So there is no issue for me. Okay, so I need just to, yeah, I have it somewhere. And now I have token. I come back to the API. As you can see, this is the URL I need. I go back to the Postman. I create a new API here. I paste my URL here. I change the get to post method. Here I, I need to uh, put the organization. If you don't know what is the name of the organization, it's really easy. You can find it from the URL from the Azure DevOps. After dev.azure.com, you can find the next uh, part is your name of the organization. So I come back and put it here. And then after that, you need to put the name of the project. So the project currently I am in is called Environment PR. So I come back to the postman and put it here. Then I need to configure the authorization part. Inside the authorization, there is a part to uh, define the type of the authorization. So the basic authorization is enough for us. And I just need to paste the my paste the token here because there is no username it's just only token so i put the token here so I, the authorization is done but because it's a post method we need also to have a payload uh, to add some data so what we need here we need to pass the the json format here so uh, what i want to do is just to pass the, the parameter which is uh, specifying the which pipeline which pipeline we are going to actually call so let me just uh, define the definition definition parameter is the parameter we pass in order to uh, specify which uh, pipeline we are going to call and with the definition the property is called id so the id is the id of the the pipeline in order to find out which uh, pipeline id you need to call when you are inside the pipeline you can find the id here uh, oh let me just come back because i think this is the build id let me just find out the id of the pipeline in order to find out the id of the pipeline you can edit the pipeline and you can see the pipeline id here in the url so it's the easiest way to find it. So I come back to the postman and add the ID here. Now everything is fine. So I should be able to call the pipeline from here. Before that, I would like to show you at the same time. That's why I come back to the pipeline. This is the place we can see if we run the pipeline. So I just, uh, let me just, send this request and see so now I send this request okay nice I got a result back which means that uh, the request has been successful and now let's come back to the pipeline and see as you can see the pipeline is running here this is quite interesting that you can run the pipeline through API if you are interested to know how you can do this through PowerShell I could tell you it's quite interesting how you can get it from the uh, postman let me just uh, make it smaller so here on postman you have an option here on the right which you can open it's a code and you can get the powershell script equivalent powershell script to run the same code you don't have to do anything 
I just copy the snippet and then I open PowerShell. So now I just need to paste the PowerShell here. Before I do it, you see that the previous time is finished. Now I just run the PowerShell. And now it's uh, been successful, this one as well. As you can see, it gives you lots of information about the result. And now, as you can see, again, the pipeline is triggered from PowerShell to API. So this is quite interesting how you can run the, the pipeline from outside. Uh, in case you want to trigger the pipeline from outside, this is the best way to do that. Thank you for watching this video.